gathering of hackers. Apparently not. Well, not entirely. A hack fair is one where innovative apps, websites, and the Internet of Things take center stage. It's a really good thing. Mm, well, there's one hack fair happening here in the Philippines for the first time. To talk to us about the event, our Christine Chen, she is the communications manager of Google Developer Group Philippines, and Jo Martigal, community manager of Google Developer Group Philippines. Hello to you both. Um, initially, Hello. give us an insight. Is, this is a first, of course. Yes, uh, this is a first in the Philippines. Okay. Okay, so Hack Fair, for Hack Fair, we aim to um, showcase um, applications, websites, um, Internet of Things projects of uh, developers and students who um, have developed something for the past year, for example, or for the past uh, years. In the past, it has been held in Korea, Korea. in 2012, right. and it's the first time in the Philippines. It's going to be happening with, uh, along with different countries such as Vietnam, Japan, and Indonesia, yeah. Korea, again. Yeah. Simultaneously, though. Um, uh, it's more of a series. Yes. Mm. So, so you're doing hops. Uh, but where does it kick off? Saan siya magsisimula? Sa atin mo or sino mo una? Or palipat-lipat siya? Yes, palipat-lipat siya. Um, these events are kind of independent of yes. each other. I it's just that, uh, for example, okay. this December, um, a lot of these communities will also create, have their own hack fairs. What was really the reason behind it to begin with and where did it even start? Okay, because what we want to do this year is to uh, spread the culture of innovation. So we want to showcase different Filipino applications, websites, and of course, Internet of Things projects because we believe that in the Philippines, there are a lot of people who have the potential and they need to find a place where they can showcase these. So this is actually the inspiration behind this. It's a very apex theme, then, apparently, <laughs> innovation. Pero hindi eh, na tayo nagugulat, no? We've actually seen, even in recent weeks or months, um, uh, having several guestings as well as to the creativity or the innovation of the Filipino. What new trends have you been seeing, whether pagating sa app, sa website, or what have you? Uh, in recent uh, years, weeks, um, for now, um, the trend in uh, development is, um, for example, wearables, the, the mm. things that you can wear in your body, like watches, um, uh, smart uh, shirts, smart uh, um, threads, yes. then another is the Internet of Things, yeah. more on hardware specific yes. uh, devices. Like for example, if you can automate your coffee maker, you can, mm -hmm. um, your garage, or anything that yeah. you can imagine that yeah. you'd like to build. Now, Google, so, Google is at the forefront of all of these. Uh, it also goes to say that the developers will be using Google products exclusively. Mm -hmm. Well, not that. They can use um, other technologies other than Google. There are a wide variety of yes. um, technologies. And what is Google's role in, in the activity, in the event in particular? Oh, we hold a lot of seminars for these developers to hone their skills. And mm -hmm. events such as these allows them to showcase their ideas. So they're not just in their rooms, you know, coding, but they're actually out there showing people what they're doing. So, so you actually, did you do a shout out or is this by invitation only precisely for those special talented individuals who innovated? So this event will be open to everyone mm -hmm. in the Philippines. So we're open actually even to elementary students. So all ages, as long as you have the idea, feel free to submit. How, what kind of ideas have you gotten so far? Well, actually, we're, 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 we're still um, announcing it. So after this is yes. uh, our start. Like to call out. out. Yes. Yeah. So, so please check our Facebook group and our website. We'll be releasing the applications there. So we can, you're free to submit anything from health to art and culture to social enterprises which are related. So. And for those that get chosen, is there any support they are getting from Google? Of uh, a prize perhaps and perhaps um, a, a support to further develop the app. Earlier, so. um, the winners? This is, um, What's up for it's not a competition. This is not is a it? competition. So this is uh, a way to showcase your applications. Like for example, mm -hmm. if you develop something innovative or something that has a social yes. impact, so it won't be limited into your computer and to your social media account. So we will be providing yes. the the medium of you saying to the world that oh, I made this app. Um, this is what it can do, and from there we can do whatever else. Oh, yeah. oh, and then me, to make it more clear, so all the applications will select thirty, and they can have a booth in our event on December nineteen to twenty in the My Museum. Mm -hmm. So they get to showcase their ideas. So we're gonna handpick them. What makes Google Developer a viable venue for these new ideas? Well, we 
help in them in um, if they have um, problems in um, uh, learning about these technologies. We were we are there to conduct talks on the new trends, on what are the new technologies that you can use for developing what your apps. We really also help in promoting yes. and to and then this is actually the first that we will be promoting oh, wow. it to with the exhibition type. Yes. So normally we just. Uh, uh, create uh, articles or posts or this attended, which post about their applications or we on our events like they uh, demonstrate their applications. I think this is better because it's open to the public and yes. anybody can drop by to the event yes. or for example if someone from the street across the street, oh, what, what? <laughs> then they can know what, oh, these are cool applications or project developer Filipino. What about funding? I think that's a major stumbling block. For a lot of developers oh we don't tackle that part actually we're more of the training for these developers so we give them the latest information we give them the latest uh techniques and coding and more so when it comes to funding perhaps it can be an avenue for them to be seen but we don't yeah do we, we don't directly yeah. do funding because yes. yeah for, we're still uh technical uh, support so community far. of uh, mm -hmm. developers but, but we have linkages we know people yeah. from um, VCs yes. and so of uh, course, other, we um, really open people to come because this event a lot of people will be coming in and checking out your products so it's really a great avenue for developers and entrepreneurs to come in yeah. uh, how many people are you expecting to be at the venue uh, we're expecting uh, based on Korea so we're expecting a thousand people mm -hmm. and of course more and these are people armed with ideas no <laughs> But based on previous experience, you're saying this is a first for yes, us uh, yes, as far first. as organizing it is yes. concerned. Um, what has it been like in other countries as far as helping or breaking these different ideas into the mainstream? Actually, just we can bring it closer to home. So just last month, we had Android Masters. So we had a lot of students coming in from different parts of the Philippines and they showcased their application. So. These events that JDG is holding is really a great avenue for students. You don't have to be a professional even. So mm -hmm. so you don't have to come, bring whatever you can, but what's on the program for those who will be there? For this event? For the half fair, yes. Of course, first of all, exposure for their ideas. And second, meeting like-minded people who also want to develop and code for their own country. And meeting so, potential investors of course. for funding. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tapos kasama na rin doon yung mga training, possibilities, potentials, directions. Yes. May the, expo, no? Of yeah. course. So there, would, there would be talks mm -hmm. um, probably by some Googlers and yes. from the community. Like so it's really if, for really example, if you are developing an Android app, um, uh, learning about designing or if you're developing a website, how do you uh, manage your back-end service, mm -hmm. servers, mm -hmm. like that. And when and where is this happening? On December 19 to 20 uh, at the Mind Museum. Mind so we're uh, inviting everyone to come and check it out. And they have to pay their way in? No. No, it's, oh, it's free. It's free. Yeah. So even the 30 selected, you get to showcase your ideas for free. So. Mm -hmm. Well, you probably have to expect more than a thousand. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> well, a final call out to, to the public, guys. So, all students, uh, all innovators, all developers, if you have a great idea and if you've been attending any of our events, we open uh, applications, uh, check Facebook, check our website, and please uh, input your ideas because we're really excited to see them. Yeah, yeah start developing your applications yes. now. So, uh, we will be opening the registration form by tonight or tomorrow. Online yes. at all? Yes, yes. yes. Um, Check our Facebook page. The deadline will be on December 12th. So if you haven't made your app yet, you can start now. Yes. <laughs> so and, still yeah, If time. you have any idea, come on, just go. This is, we are at an exciting time and we're here to help you. Well, so. guys, keep innovating. Maraming salamat. Jamar Intigal, Community Manager for Google Developer Group Philippines, and Christine Chen. Communications Manager for Google Developer Group Philippines. Thank you for Thank your time. You. Thank you.